Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly explain how this series wound brush DC motor is wired up to this Kelly Controls KDZ48400 and also uh, we've got these other components like the battery pack, main, con main contactor and a couple of other components. So let's start off with the battery pack, let's start off with the negative terminal of the battery pack and that connects to via this cable B B minus. Now the positive terminal of the battery pack that connects to uh, this fuse holder. Now there's two paths. Let's follow the main path via this fuse. It goes to this terminal of the contactor. The other the other terminal of the contactor goes to B plus. That's B plus over there. Now there's another cable going from B plus to this terminal of the series wound brush DC motor. Now you see another terminal there, and that connects to uh, well, that connects from one of the ends of the field windings to this. Uh, brush holder. Okay, now this one here is the other end of the field winding, and that cable goes to M. So that goes to M. Okay, now you will notice on the contactor there's a pre charge resistor here, and that bridges across these two terminals that's a discussion for another time but it is important for this con this control to have this precharge resistor you also notice that there's another set of terminals there that one and that one they're basically one terminal and that one and that one is another terminal you'll notice a diode there with the band uh, pointing with the band on this side here, so that that side there that that connects to plus. You can see plus, and what the, what they are there. I think the uh, the ends of the coil which uh, actuate the 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 main contactor when when they're energized. Okay, now so you, you can see there's a diode there. Now let's go back to uh, this junction where it's getting uh, power from the positive, or it's getting it's getting not uh, it's getting current from current power uh, from the we'll say current uh, from the positive of the battery pack, and that wire goes to this fuse, and from this fuse it goes to this switch. From that switch it goes to that terminal there, which is the plus which I was referring to before. Now from here is another wire which goes to this control box. Okay, now over here you're going to see another going back to the main contactor, one of the, one of the terminals, you'll see a, uh, a wire from there going to what's known as free and that eventually, well that's part of a uh, part of a set of cables that goes leads to uh, J1 or plug J1. Now plug J2 that leads to uh, this control box as well too. And yeah, let's see it in. Let's see this in action. So what we'll do is we will turn it on. Just noting that this has already been. Uh, pre-charged. I've pre-charged it prior to doing this video. Turn that on and watch it go. <laughs> now 
And there you have it. That's how I have wired up this uh, series round brush DC motor and wired it up so that uh, wired it up with the uh, Kelly Controls KDZ 48400. And that's it.